Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're continuing on with The Boys, Diabolical. We're going to watch episodes four, five, and six, back to back to back. And so if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see a cut-down version of all three of those episodes because we can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. -picture. However, if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, by episode four, five, and six, uh, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykawaii, where you can watch all three of these, but you will need your own Amazon Prime subscription so you can open up the episodes in an adjacent window to our reaction. And it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you're watching this on Patreon already, thanks so much for supporting us here. Here we go. Love you too, asshole! Hi. I was just about to drop this off. Oh. <laughs> they have all sorts of um, face changing. I know, I know that. I'm very well aware of that. I'm just wondering if there was one specific like this. Yeah, I think so. We're going to start with our potential block. Oh. You know who that is? Oh, Kamel? Yeah. Picture the face you want to have. The life you want to have. I'm trying to, but this really fucking hurts! Ah! Wow. It works! Woo! We did it! How, how Whoa. long does it last? A few days before you need to reapply the cream, but it's probably best to take a break between doses. Mm. Hi there. My name's Boyd. Nice to please you. I mean... He <laughs> looks kind of like Johnny Bravo. Why does he want this problematic girl? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe you live right next door and we've never even met. Well, why don't we meet then? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow, that doesn't come with any actual strength, does it? <laughs> oh... Yeah, but it might as well be, like, inflatable balloons. She barely touched him and he fell right into the grass. Oh, God. What if his thing, like... It's gonna wear off. Wear off, of like, yeah. right now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What the fuck? Seriously, this is who I've always wanted to be. A pussycat. <gasps> <gasps> Do you like it? It's a little hot, but weird. <laughs> Seems like we're the new hot thing. What's that mean? Let's find out. <laughs> Where's this headed? Yeah. Oh, the punishment of not having it anymore. Yeah. Or it's gonna be cost prohibitively expensive. Whoa. Oh, they're getting brand deals and stuff. There you go, they're representing it. Whoa! Oh, the... They're exhausted. Yeah, the burnout. Wow. It's getting really dark. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding you me? You can't fire us. Yes, we can. You sign the contracts, dipshits. Uh, oh, God. The withdrawal. Mm-hmm. I always liked your freckles. I gotta pee. <sighs> oh. Don't you dare. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh. Oh no. In the toilet? Down the toilet! No, no! You gonna splash toilet water on your face? Yeah, see? Back when y'all were cute. It was yeah, but he simple. wasn't himself. I know. I know. I look terrible. Jerry. Don't hide them. Huh. 
I see you, Boyd Dune. Aww. Mr. Dune? Boyd? Oh, no. So, how much compound fee did you put? <gasps> what the hell happened? Was it all in his head? Wait, did he actually go through all that? Or was it just... I don't know. Maybe it was all just in his head. I mean, there's a... That's like a total recall. Uh, that, that, that's uh, that, There's a couple ways to interpret that. I, I mean, really liked that one. Yeah. It could either be that he never left the chair or he went back. Yeah. Either way. It was interesting how it played out. It almost felt like a, an animated Black Mirror episode. I almost feel like that ending was kind of Marvel in a way. And what I mean by that is the, the Joss Whedon aspect of Marvel where they're afraid to commit to any dramatic moments. Because the ending was actually cool. Like... I was, I was actually quite content with that ending where they get together at the yeah, end. It's, like, it's, it's who we like, are inside. That's what I matters. See you, I see you. I see who you really are. I'm like, That's all right. All you've gone, like, right? it's a little savvy. Yeah. It's a little bit. It's a little like bit on the nose. A little bit it's after cute. school, but you know, yeah. it works for me. I actually was like, all right, cool. Like that was an interesting bumpy ride to get to that message, but I'm all right with it. And then they had to cap it off with that uh, joke at the end. I'm like, all right. I guess. Like, I was actually all right with the ending before the ending. But I guess it does leave you with the question of, well, what actually happened? Was it all playing out in his mind like a Black Mirror episode? Or did he go through all this and he went back again because he wanted to rejuvenate who he was before so he could, you know, be that person for his woman? Or that he had just taken so much that it messed him up so or that, much. Or that because, as well. Because like, they did just warn him. Yeah, it was the, yeah, he was suffering the consequences of, of long-term usage. I like this because it really does speak to what is happening right now. You know, like with all the filters and Instagram and and. Uh, social media and all that and this sense of like I'm not good enough unless I look like I do in the filters and and all of that so I thought it was really cool I mean that's certainly a thing yeah definitely like people are actually going to plastic surgeons and asking them like can you make me look like I do when I wear this filter which is really sad oh so that was Colby Mil Mini Fee like yeah, she, yeah, she, it, she actually it, voiced her own role yeah that, I mean I could hear she has a very distinct voice um, as Ashley, yeah. The guy, the main white dude, had a very peculiar voice, and it's making me wonder who that is. Elliot, by Elliot Glazer. Glazer. I don't know who that okay. is. The only aspect of the of this episode that I was a little bit iffy on was his voice. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the only aspect. I was like, oh, I guess that works. It wasn't like I was in love with it. It was like, I guess it works. Whereas everyone else in the show, including Nanjani, what's his name? Kamel. Kamel Nanjani, like, including his voice. I thought that everybody else's voice worked. Uh, his was the only one where I was like, I, I guess it's fine. I do like the overall message in there. I thought it was a very, very interesting approach to having that discussion. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah. Anyway, we should move on to the next episode here. So, um, all right. You owe us, Sky. So I'm going to need you to get in the car and get us our marijuana. Whoa. I love this enemy. Brought money, right? <laughs> it's all of the little cute anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't really like the beach too much. Yeah, um, certainly so it's it's motherfucker! He found me! <laughs> what? Oh, he's high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to get it with V. Oh. Oh, okay. Shit, 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 fucking fish! You'll tell him everything! <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Get the... Breathe. They didn't wait for her. Guys. <laughs> written oh, by, written Aquafina. by Aquafina. Oh, cute. Okay. Take a hit, loser. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's so weird. It's like the Astro, Bo Astro Boy kind of look. Is that the name of the animation? Help! Get me out of here! What? How? On the count of seven, you need to push. Why seven? One, seven! Oh my lord. She got a teddy bear? It's a, a poop. A poop! <laughs> Rachel Wiener's Mexican theme bot mitzvah! It was the first time I had a lote. And then I farted while doing Cotton Eye Joe and blamed Alyssa Kirkwood because she was 6'8". But you knew that. That is so nasty. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I was like, oh, maybe we won't see any violence this time because it's super cute. But nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's literally a shit in her bed. <laughs> Something. Ugh. I don't have ears, guy. Then how do you... What? <laughs> oh. What's up, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I understand this must be so confusing, which is why on behalf of Vaught, we can offer you this. $5,000 probably. 10 bucks. $100,000? Oh. It's $1,000. Oh. <laughs> Refurbished iPad. Oh. All you have to do is walk out of here, never ever speak of this ever again, and get back to your happy life. But my life wasn't so happy before. Okay, you need to go now. Bye. A thousand bucks. Dang. That's nothing. Vort is so cheap. <laughs> it's so weird. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it's like a turd picture. Oh, so easy to get into what? Ariola! Sky! Come on! She's not gonna free anyone else? She said she forgot her inhaler. Okay. Good job. You're gonna flush her down the toilet? Sky, no! If they catch you, we'll never see each other again. But I promise I will find you. How? On a can of seven. One. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just here taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Since you took the V, I mean, I'm not the special one. You are. The power of poop? Uh, you have to delete some money. You are a giant piggy bank. Break it with a hammer when it's all full. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just asking for help from a few new friends. She can control shit. <laughs> I mean, you're a dick face. Rise up, my turn, friend! <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> oh my god. That is it's nasty. nasty, but I love it at the same time. <laughs> That is way too gross. <laughs> hey, loser, we're going to hookah and we need your debit card. Sorry, Tiff. I got plans with friends, bitch. What in the actual fuck? <sighs> oh. <laughs> right on time to get beat. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh my god. Oh, god. oh my god. It's both cute and sick at the same time. <laughs> that was gonna be my favorite episode until it became shit. <laughs> you know I love the poop emoji. <laughs> that was so cute. But so gross. That made me but a little bit so cute. That made me a little bit squeamish, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but the animation of the poops. It's still poop. And then the style made it cute, right? Poop. It was cute. Poop. I liked it. I, I can totally see how that came from Orkofina's imagination. And her butt. <laughs> it's like it's that's adorable. Um but but weird. But adorable <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, definitely like one poop was cute and then multiple poops. She had shit all over her room. Yeah, <laughs> like literally. I From mean, the sewer. I know. It wasn't even her poop. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's one thing if it's if you're kissing the poop that came from your body. I'm just thinking ah. about this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about the smells. Like, what smells must be coming from her? Cute, I'm trying cute to ra I'm trying to rationalize this in my head. Going, okay, perhaps there was a way to clean this off. And, she has and no friends. It, it, perhaps there was a way to clean it off so that it didn't have the residue or the smell. Maybe like a dry poop. You know, like when you see a dog poop that's been out in the sun for a while, it's a little dry. There is a reason why humans find poop revulsive. There's a reason why we find it vile. For our, it's for our survival. Well, it's right? excrement. Yeah. Right. It's, it's got stuff in there. You don't want to put that back in your mouth. Correct. Yeah. It's part of our survival as a species because the the species that ate their poop died off. <laughs> the, the, part, the part of, you know, the, the, the subsect of humans or, or pre-humans that ate their poop just died. Sometimes dogs eat their poop. And then they die. They don't die. <laughs> uh, 
I had a dog that would keep her poop and hide it. <laughs> yeah, not, not you know, like maybe she was making poop friends and you didn't know about it. Uh, can we move on? <laughs> I really enjoyed the animation style of this. Like it, it was, yeah. it would just made me really happy because like all of that really cute anime stuff. It kind of reminded me of like Sailor Moon or whatever. Growing up, a, a lot of the the cute anime that I used to watch on a on a Saturday morning kind of had that vibe with like the the sweat and the eyes and the, yeah, and the yeah, sound yeah. effects and yeah. stuff. It was really sweet. Yeah. Was it weird? Yeah, it was weird AF, but I I really enjoyed it. It gave me a lot of smiles and giggles and laughs. Um and yeah, I I really really like that one. <laughs> Just getting over the fact that it's poop. I, I get that it's poop, but it's still kind of cute. It just she... it made me uncomfortable that like she was she was just like cuddling it and touching it and like this close to it. And then... you just got to suspend your disbelief of like that it's nasty poop. It's like her friend, and they're all her friends, and, My... and they're very lovely. Maybe her power transforms them and sanitizes them so they're like less nasty poops. Let's just say that. My imagination that. is too strong. It's just like. <laughs> My imagination is telling me this is, that's a poop. <laughs> it's in her face. She's in the sewer. She's collecting everybody's poop and turning it into her super friends. And I'm like, that's gross. They're all over her bed and stuff. It's like they came out of the sewer. I just needed one scene where she like cleaned it. <laughs> Let me give you a shower and spray <clears throat> you with perfume. Oh, God. <laughs> so gross. Oh, that was fun. I liked it. Okay, moving on. Kick rocks. Put my life on the line over and over again. And what did I get in return, huh? My name on the news? Screw that. It's time I got something a little more. They have the really pretty flares in this animation style. Looks like you could use a hand. Nice moves. You're Nubia, Queen of Thunder. I'm Nubian Prince, Prince of Nubia. Do you think this is at all modeled after Black Panther? She was looking at his butt too, I think. I mean, they're definitely into each other. <laughs> definitely hand on butt. Yep. Yep. Your place or mine? Boy, where'd that accent go? <laughs> Girl, I'm from Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> You were the one that kept hitting me with the friendly fucking fire. It was an accident. <laughs> you hit me in the nuts, Nubia. I should say <laughs> Wow, should okay. What the hell? What was that butt thing? Fuck you, fuck off, leave a fucking message. <laughs> Jesus. It's locked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Gardener in the background. Whoa, dude. What happened to your VS5? I have anger issues. <laughs> Listen, kid, what are you doing here? I got to get back to staring into the void and try not to fatally injure myself when I pee. <laughs> <laughs> You heard? Oh, look, kid. Truth is, we work together. All that good guy, bad guy stuff is just bullshit to sell backpacks. That's what I thought. Fine. I obviously don't have shit going on. <laughs> Put Maya down right fucking now, Groundhog. You know what? I'm sick of your bullshit, Nubians. Fight me! What? You're not even in our continuity this season, you <laughs> crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Gerald, or do you need that bitch's permission? I don't need my wife's permission. You wanna fight, you got it, you egg-laying motherfucker! <laughs> oh, oh, shit, kid, are you <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happened? <laughs> it's just, he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, poor Nighthawk. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god, are they gonna kill him? As in a pedophile? Like that dude from Seventh Heaven? Damn, that shit fucked me up. I knew it! Oh my god, oh my god, make it stop. 
I'm looking at both your trifling asses. I want that motherfucking pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was a very random episode, but all right. This is really fun. I enjoyed it. I'm forced to ask, what was the moral of the story? I guess it's turning the thing on its head that you normally find in these kinds of animations where, even in live action, like PG films, where, you know, the kids trifle with things in order to get their parents back. Yeah, like kind of like the trap. parent trap. Yeah, You know, yeah. she was trying to engineer this plan to rekindle that love for her parents, which is what you will always find in those kinds of things. And generally speaking, it works out. It's cute that the kids tried to do this thing. Right, but you never see what happens afterwards. You just right, see- it's happily ever after. Yeah, it's like happily ever after. You know, a lot of the time you see these fairy tales and it's like, oh, and then happily ever after. You don't see what happens, which is like the relationship is, it's still broken. Like you could still really love that person, but like if there are issues within the relationship, like they're not addressing and they're not, you know, trying to work together to, to make it better, they're still going to revert back to how they were behaving before. And like straight away, even after that wonderful night of passion, she's back to like nagging him and like, Gerald, yeah. you know? And so the daughter was kind of like, yeah, like Nighthawk right. was you, if right. You, if you don't get to the underlying issues, then yeah. Yeah, it, then it, there's no future. They'll stay there. I've been watching uh, quite a bit of Curb Your Enthusiasm, and that's one of the lessons that comes up is like, if you never actually get to the issues, if you never actually address it, they will persist. I felt bad for Hawkworth or whatever his name is. Nighthawk. Like, yeah, he got beat up. Like, I don't know if he actually died or if it was like they just beat the he, crap out of him. He probably died. They were pulverizing him. It looked like they were straight up. Yeah. It was no, no good. <laughs> I felt bad for him because he was doing a good yeah, thing. Yeah, he was ultimately. trying to do a good thing, and then even though the daughter was like, "Oh no, I, I got him to do it," they, they were just well. It's like what she said. They were so into fighting, and like they were so attracted to each other when they fight together that they weren't even listening to her say like, "Oh, I was gonna say that he's a Peter." Obviously, he's not. And then so they were like, "What? I'm gonna look." <laughs> Beat the crap out of him. Of the three that we just watched, I think the first one was my favorite with the social media thing. Oh, yeah. I, that, that one was the most poignant. And I enjoyed all three of these, actually. I enjoyed all three of them, but the first one stood tall above the rest for me. Uh, uh, even above the other ones, like the, the previous. I think the, uh, episode three and four are my favorite so far of, of the six that we've seen so far because they were the most... The number three was most in line with the show. Right. And number four was the most poignant. Like this was, I guess this was interesting in what we just talked about, the aforementioned of like, it all works out in the fairy yeah. tale movies and stuff like that. But here you got to see like the realness of, it probably wouldn't work out. Yeah, like, it, it, th it probably wouldn't yeah. if they're not, if they're not working on themselves and they're not trying to, you know. But I think, I think presumably though, in these fairy tale movies where it works out, I think the assumption is they would work on themselves in order to make it work. Right. I mean, yeah, in, in your typical fairy tale, you just think that everything works out. And I think it gives children an unrealistic expectation of what is required for uh, a long lasting, happy, healthy relationship. Because it's like, yeah, all of the lovely stuff comes with, you know, falling in love and the hormones and the, the newness and the fun and everything. And then the story always ends right when they get together but you don't see what it takes afterwards it's, it's less drama right it's not as interesting it's not as entertaining to watch what happens after ha happily ever after sure i think what, what kind of threw me uh, what distracted me was when they got back together and the girl was being kept up late at night because they were having sex we ca I, I think it distracted me because I'm like, wait, what's the message here? Because it wasn't until the thing with the beans came up or whatever that was yeah. that you're supposed to replace that there, it was making clear that there was a problem. Because like her having to hear her parents make love, I'm like, I personally don't find that relatable. And like I, that is supposed to be a good thing, though. Yeah, it's awkward. It's supposed like, to be a good thing that they're making love because yeah. they're back together. It's healthy. So, so it sort of like threw me off a little bit. I'm like, I'm sh not clear on what the show is trying to tell me at this particular moment. But like, it's also completely unrelatable because for me, just me, because I n didn't ever hear my parents doing it. It was I didn't ever. like uh, the only thing I ever experienced that was remotely close to that was I would try to go into my parents' room without even knocking because I was never taught properly. I would try to go into the room and it was like the door was just like locked shut. My parents' door didn't have actu an actual lock. So my dad had a, a wood thing that he wedged under the doorknob yeah. so I couldn't get in. And I'd try to get in and it was like, motherfucker, away! 
that, you know, <laughs> that's that's all I got. No, I, you know? I used to do the same, but I I got we're taking a nap. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, come back later. That was it. I didn't ever hear anything that vigorous. Oh, yeah, I so. feel I feel like most parents have to learn the the stealth shag, you know. <laughs> Like, in any case how quiet can we make it going back to episode four yeah i thought that was like a very i just want to compliment that again because like that is a you know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world but i i think that for anyone who's able to live a, a relatively peaceful life compared to some of the stuff going on in you know ukraine and whatnot yeah uh, if you're able to live a peaceful normal life that is the thing you're combating every day is if you're a young person like Social the, media. The, the social media, yeah. Because yeah. Like, the, the, the thing about it is, it's almost like this drug, right? And we don't realize it's a drug and we think it's okay to share with our kids. And so we pass that drug onto the kids. And now the kids are combating cocaine, a, me a mental cocaine of sorts. Yeah. This, this highly intoxicating, highly addictive drug. And it's like you, your whole, all your values on yourself are based around this drug. It's the craziest thing. Well, it's it's interesting because I, I was listening to an Eckhart Tolle, I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, podcast today. But he was kind of talking about how we have these forms, right? So there's your physical form. There's your like psychological, your mental form, mm -hmm. um, which is just like you know, how your body looks, yes. the different attributes that make up your personality and stuff like that. And the thing with this hyper focus on social media is like, we are so obsessed with our like external form and like how we're presenting ourselves to the world. But the thing is the way that you present on social media often isn't necessarily who you are. Yeah. You know, it's just like, oh, these are the highlight clips of my best moments in life. Look at me eating this hot dog. Look at me going to this cool place and blah, blah, blah. And then, I mean, you saw that in the animation where they're out there doing all the fun things, taking the pictures. As soon as they get in the car, they're not even connecting with each other. They're right. just like- Miserable. Miserable Quiet. And, and sad. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Like we're yeah. so obsessed with that instead of just, you know, coming back to our essence and just being here right now and yeah. like relating with each other. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a real other. problem for me. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I can't help but post every single day, like story after story. And yeah, yeah. Uploads. So Instagram. So hard. So hard. <laughs> I'm being a little bit ironic because I, I, I only post like once a month. And I, I, know, I even terrible. more rarely post stories. Like I'm a terrible Instagrammer. I only I, I, I only share like cute dog videos or something at the minute. That's just bullshit. Things, things that make me happy. I'm You're like, I just want to share the yourself. happiness. What are you talking about? I, I saw something just the other day. You posted an image of yourself of, of you something something. Everyone's doing it. Of the, I wasn't even in the like, picture. Like whatever the animation is, like which character you're most like or something like that. or Yeah, that was like a month ago. Bullshit. That was like last week. No, it wasn't. You want to check? It definitely wasn't I don't wasn't care, honestly. Week. I really don't care. I'm just saying you're on there more than I am. I am on there. You're I, I, I fully recognize that it is a drug and, and scrolling is probably the worst thing for me, but I lack self-control to just kind of so switch it off the app. right now. Just delete it. <sighs> I don't think I can. I deleted... Um, Where am I? I won't get my daily fix of puppy videos. I deleted... A um, oh shit, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Just blank, blank that out. Make that a bad word, you guys. I've deleted stuff that I have found addicting on, from my phone. It's, so it's, it's a good thing, that's yeah. the only, that's really the only po power you have over is to delete it. Make it hard for yourself to get access to that data, that information. So like for me at one point, like the only way I could get access to Instagram was through a browser, which is annoying as hell. Don't delete your account because that is horrifying, <laughs> you yeah. know? You want to make sure that you can come back when you need it. Yeah, but you want to be able to access that drug whenever possible. But like, the, the you don't you don't throw away your pipe. You just put the drug, you, you, you give all the drugs in a bag to your friend and you say, okay, when I'm really desperate, give this back to me. And then they're like, sorry, dude, I already smoked it. You're ruining it. So <laughs> um, delete the app. Sure. Delete, delete the app that's uh, making you have a hard time focusing on. I What I worry about more than anybody are the kids who are being raised in that environment with apps and whatnot because that's what they know well yeah especially like in this where they specifically showed the the face changing apps it is really hard like i'm not gonna lie you know sometimes doing a story or whatever i used to feel really bad about just doing it without a little bit of a filter you know just to make my skin look a little bit nicer or to give myself some cute freckles or or something you know what i mean 
like I don't when, work out any of that stuff. when you're so used to that stuff like when you get used to seeing your face in that way and then you look at your face in the mirror it it can make some people feel really bad about themselves you know because you're like i don't do you think guys like go through this i think it's just women that go through this more than uh, maybe some guys do but i think it's mostly women who do this to each other i mean i, I guess like with with a lot of the face changing and smoothing and whatever apps maybe women go go through it more but like more and more men are coming out and you know sharing stories of body dysmorphia and and stuff like that so i don't think it is exclusive i'm sure that well there's certainly body dysmorphia thing. when it comes to your pecs and your, your abs physique. and your, your physique Zeke, yeah. yeah. I think there's certainly body dysmorphia there. I'm all right with that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not all right with the plastic surgery, like this obsession with like curving your face, like restructuring restructuring your face to meet the this animation app thing that like how they like recontort your face and stuff like that. Okay, I don't want people to like make themselves depressed in an, in the endeavor to pursue a better body. I don't like that. You should appreciate who you are. But. Yes. But. And this is a strong but. I think that it's it's kind of like Christianity, you know? It's like you got Jesus as your I'm not a Christian, by the way. You got Jesus as your as the apex idol, right? As the your Messiah that you aspire to be like, but you can never be like him. He's perfect, right? Even though he flips shit at the temple. He's perfect, right? Sure. And so you can never be as good as Jesus, but you aspire to be as good as Jesus, even though you won't give your shit away. You aspire to be Okay, that's a bad example. What I'm trying to say is like you you have your ideal like perfect and you strive for that even though you'll never hit it, but it keeps you wanting to grow into a better version of yourself is all I'm getting at. And I have no problem with, you know, wanting to grow into a better per uh, version of yourself by all means. Yes, we ought to strive to do that, but we should still appreciate who we are right now and appreciate Along the, the people way. in, in yeah. our lives like for who they are right now because yeah. we only have this moment right now tomorrow is not a guarantee correct Achara yes thank you for parroting me was I? I've I mean said, I was... if you go back over the thousands of videos that we posted I'm pretty sure I said it first. <laughs> okay it doesn't really it's matter it's a contest who's smarter it doesn't really it's matter who said it first it's a, yes Gabby. it does okay yes it is alright there's, there's only one flag on the moon right now okay and that's the flag of Jabby. So yeah, when it comes to like the body dysmorphia thing, like I'm, I'm, I'm more okay with that because generally speaking, people aren't. I know it. It does happen where people do get surgical enhancements on their body and whatnot because of that dysmorphia. But like as long as it's short of that, I'm actually okay. Where you're dieting rigorously and exercising rigorously, as long as it's within the scope of or the, you, of, of the realm of, of healthiness, as you, long as it's within those parameters, I'm cool with it. You do realize that it's not really healthy though, right? Because you, you don't actually- If you're eating vegetables, okay, if you're eating I get protein, it. But if you're I'm exercising, saying, what's unhealthy about that? The thing with body dysmorphia is you don't actually see your body for what it is. Like objectively, your body could be thin You're literally and talking to perfect. somebody with body dysmorphia. I understand. So, like, you're trying like, to explain it to, you're trying to explain it to me when I, I have it myself and I recognize that. And I'm like, it's cool. I I enjoy having body dysmorphia because it keeps me in check and keeps me from getting too fat. Okay. okay. It's all right. I'm well, all right with okay, it. Okay, but on, on the subject of the plastic surgery I, thing, I just think that uh, one important thing to remember as well is a lot of the time it's all fads. And you, um, the, the sad thing is you might change your face because right now the sharp, like... A triangular looking face is in and yeah, then, and then you saying. go and shave it and then afterwards it's like oh no now a round face is in and then it's like but I had that before that's why Do I keep boo -boo. saying short of plastic surgery I'm cool with the obsession with improving yourself so long as it doesn't make you a psycho well we're all psychos aren't we is it just me just you. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that nonsensical conversation that followed this reaction and the reaction as well. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you're watching this on Patreon, thanks so much for supporting us here. Very much appreciate y'all. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.